Hey guys, Sydney Trail Runner and welcome back to the weekly product review. Uh, this week hot on the topic is running shoes and I've been lucky enough to spend the last couple of months checking out two of Mizuno's uh, coolest new shoes for trail running. Um, one being the Daichi 2 which I'm still in the process of reviewing and the second being the Wave Rider GTX 20 which is what I'm going to be reviewing tonight. So to tell you a little bit about the product. The Wave Rider GTX 20 is an adaption of the very famous and very popular 20th edition of the uh, Wave Rider shoe. This was traditionally a running shoe for road runners um, and they have managed to create the trail version uh, including Gore-Tex, uh, hence the GTX in the name, um, as a part of the upper. Now, there's some really cool things about this shoe and there's some things I really wasn't sure about as far as, I guess, the Australian market. Um, so, as always, I'm going to go into the things I liked and the things I didn't like, um, talk about price, talk about, you know, who's going to benefit from these the most, and then at the end tell you what I think stars out of five. So, let's get to it. So, starting with things I like. Um, whilst I normally prefer about an 8mm drop, this has a 12mm drop to it, which is more, um, I guess, consistent with road running shoes than trail running shoes. Um, I like to be a little bit closer to the ground and it's a bit more... Um, reliable when you do go down sort of a, a technical trail and you want to have quick reaction time. Um, so as far as this, the 12 mil drop's not too bad. I did find it very cushioning, um, which on your road runs and sort of your fire trails was super comfortable. Uh, as far as the Gore-Tex went, um, I'll get into that as far as the dislikes because whilst um, I think running in snow or running in super cold weather in places like North America and Europe in the winter would be phenomenal. Um, I went out running at about 23, 24 degrees Celsius in Australia and about 8 kilometers in I found it very warm. So uh, we'll talk about that shortly. Um, other things I really liked about this shoe, um, it does have all of the strength and control and um, all the right things for a trail runner that you would want as far as, I guess, giving you that protection out on the trail. Um, it has the cradle, it has the, you know, the bit of strength at the toe of the foot um, and it's really just going to protect you on the trail. So if you are one of those runners that, you know, is worried about having your feet all banged up, this is going to be a great option for you. Um, if anyone is a Mizuno fan and they have ran in the Wave Riders prior, um, from what I understand and of people I've spoken to that have, uh, a, have a many pairs of the Wave Rider, this shoe is very similar. So um, this is going to be an easy transition for you if you are looking for a trail shoe or you're new to trails and you want to make a slow transition and, and I guess not jump straight into the sort of 8mm drop with you know no plate through the midsole. Okay so now to talk about the things I didn't like, I'm going to really focus down on the Gore-Tex. Um, I'm not sure that this was an idea for an Australian running shoe and the only reason I say that is that I found that within about eight kilometers of running, my feet were on fire. Um, the shoe made my feet really warm. And, and I mean, Gore-Tex has been designed for people to run in winter. Um, it's, or, you know, not necessarily winter, but cold weather or running through snow. Um, or, you know, it's gonna protect you from water. But the problem is, if you look at the top of the shoe where you put your foot in it, there's an opening. So realistically, if you're crossing a riverbed or anything in a trail race or even out on the trails, um, you are going to get water in it. So it is a good shoe um, in the sense that it's going to protect you from the elements to an extent, but um, it is going to be cold weather. If, it's, if we're moving into winter, this is going to be a great shoe if you don't like um, you know, getting cold, wet feet when you're out on the trails. This is, this is going to do exactly what you want. And the Gore-Tex, they've actually nailed it with that. Um, what else didn't I like about the shoe? There's really not much else I didn't like about it. As far as an overall trail shoe, um, Whilst I wouldn't necessarily go to the Blue Mountains and do a lot of, um, you know, technical descents in this shoe because um, the grip, whilst it's not a bad grip for trail, it's not something that I would be comfortable um, moving too quickly down the trails in. But as far as fire trail goes or um, a mix of road running and trail running, it's going to be a really good shoe for you. Now to the price. Um, this comes in at $240. Um, this is pretty standard. I mean, $240 is sort of your standard price for most Mizuno um, running shoes. This is where sort of ASICs, Nike, all of their road to trail shoes kind of sit around the $220 to $240 price. So this is a pretty standard price. It's very competitive. Um, and I guess moving into winter, if you do want something that's going to give you a bit of warmth, um, this is going to stand out against sort of your competitors' uh, beginner trail shoes and transition trail shoes from road. 
Um, all in all, I actually really enjoyed this shoe. Um, for me personally, it's not something that I would spend a lot of time in just because I spend a lot of time running in the summer and so I might struggle and might only be able to run with it six months a year which I would struggle with a little bit as far as the longevity of owning the shoe. Um, but for anyone that's sort of getting into trail running now, they might be preparing for their first UTA 50. This is going to be a great shoe to think about looking at. Um, it is going to provide you with um, the cushioning for the long runs. It's going to provide you with the, um, I guess, safety and it's going to keep your foot in, in its place um, in the shoe and you're not going to have to worry about much happening to it. Um, all in all, I'm actually going to give this shoe a 4 out of 5. I quite liked it. I would recommend it to most runners. Um, just keep in mind, if you are someone that doesn't like or doesn't like those sort of um, old school days of when you first ran in a running shoe and you, you felt like it overheated quite a bit and it took time to run in, it's a similar feeling. But as I said, if you're running in winter and you're hitting the trails and it's going to be wet, this is going to really do the job. So I highly recommend it. Um, the other shoe that I'm currently uh, reviewing is the Daichi 2, which is the other new trail shoe by Mizuno. Um, it is a uh, more aggressive trail shoe. Um, it has different features and functionality, so I will be hopefully reviewing that in the coming weeks. I'm still trying to get a bit of time out on the trails with it, as, as you would be well aware, Sydney has been absolutely smashed by rain over the past couple of weeks. So I'm trying to get a bit of a mix of wet weather and dry weather, weather running in it. So uh, keep your eyes out for that one. Um, I look forward to speaking with anyone out on the trails or out on the running groups such as Pace Athletic sometime soon. If anyone has any questions about this shoe, the Wave Rider 20 GTX or the Daichi 2, feel free to come and say hi. Um, as always, keep running. See you on the trails.